Which is better? The Bugatti Chiron Super Sport or the Rimac Nevera? Well, this is a highly debated one between car people and in the car world in general of which one is the better hypercar, the Bugatti Chiron or the Rimac Nevera? Well, in this video, we are going to be trying to answer that question. We are going to be putting them against each other in these seven different categories which are powertrain, performance, design, luxury, fun, speed and price and any car that wins in a category will be given 10 points and if they tie they get five points each and by the end of the video we are going to be summing up the individual points of each card to determine which one is the actual winner but know that the judgment i'll be passing in this video some are going to be based on my opinion and i think is fair so if there is anything you think i missed out in the video by the end let me know in the comment section down below and with all that said Thank you for tuning in and let's get the video started. And now, kicking off with the powertrain, starting with the Rimac Nevera. The Rimac Nevera is driven by four electric motors, and these four electric motors are powered by a 120 kilowatt hour battery pack. And being electric, it has only one speed direct drive. And altogether, this system makes 1,888 horsepower and 2,316 newton meters of torque. On the other hand, we have the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport, which is powered by an 8 liter quad turbo W16 engine that makes 1,000. 577 horsepower and 1600 newton meters of torque the power is sent to all four wheels via a seven speed door clutch automatic transmission but we all know that being more powerful doesn't mean the better so to consider the winner we are going to be considering three points which are consistency efficiency and power output starting off with the consistency part we all know that electric cars tend to not be consistent in power output and in power delivery across every weather like the battery tend to drain a lot faster in cold weather and performance in different state of charge varies like for example performance at 20 percent state of charge won't be as good as performance at 100 percent state of charge or performance at 90 percent state of charge and power delivery and power output are going to be compromised and on the other hand we have the bugatti Chiron super sport which doesn't have all that issue it performs almost exactly the same in all weather and in all condition almost exactly the same so for consistency i'll give this one to the bugatti Chiron super sport and now coming over to the efficiency part electric vehicles are known to be very very efficient with power consumption power output and power delivery and in this case the remark nevera the Rimac Nevera is very much efficient with power usage and power output. It squeezes out every performance out of that 1,888 horsepower in a very, very efficient way. On the other hand, we have the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport, which is somewhat very, very efficient with power output and power delivery. With 1,577 horsepower, it pulls out performance that is almost on par with the Rimac Nevera. Quite not in acceleration, but in top speed, it edges out the Rimac Nevera. And talking of range, it gets 205 realistic miles from the Rimac Nevera, while you get 238 miles from the Bugatti Chiron. The only difference is the cost, but whoever is buying these cars don't like have the problem of refilling their cars. Money is not the issue here. So in terms of efficiency both cars are very efficient in their own ways so for efficiency i'll call this round draw and now the power output and this is where the remark never dominates like it makes over 311 horsepower more than the bugatti chiron and it makes way more torque than the bugatti chiron so for power output it goes clearly to the Rimac Nevera. So for the overall winner in powertrain, I'll call this round a draw. So each car gets five points each. And now coming over to the performance and also this is an area where the Rimac Nevera really really dominates. Like in raw acceleration and in raw like pickup speed, the Rimac Nevera is just on another level. Like not that the Bugatti run is not fast, but the Remake Nevera is somewhat on another level. 
0 to 60, the Bugatti Chiron can do it in 2.2 seconds, while the Remark Nevera would take only 1.74 seconds. As for the quarter mile time, the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport will finish its standing quarter mile in 9.1 seconds, while it will take the Remark Nevera 8.25 seconds. And as for the top speed, the Chiron can do up to 273 miles per hour and that was just limited to the production runs while the Remark Nevera can only do 258 miles per hour like at the top speed is where the Bugatti shines like if these two cars were to race over a mile like after like the half mile is the Bugatti Chiron's territory and this is where the Bugatti Chiron will dominate but as for the first half of the race I think the win goes to the Remark Nevera and the Remark Nevera just like shattered many many records it broke many many records like records pertaining speed like acceleration it broke like 20 of them these are the records it broke like it shattered many many records just in one day to show you how impressive and how quick this car is and for a matter of fact it broke a record with records like it has a record for the most record broken in a day it broke record with records just like that's how impressive it is so for the win in this category for the win in performance it goes clearly to the remark nevera and now coming over to the design starting with the remark nevera the remark nevera is a beautiful car to be honest it looks really really good if you look at it and look at the previous generation which is the remark concept one you see a massive massive improvement in design the exterior design is just top-notch my favorite angle is at the back the back shot is the best and everything about the exterior is just like it's going to be iconic and everything from the exterior design the back the butterfly doors the front like the exterior design is going to remain on their design language for a very long time to come and the interior is premium like it passes as a good interior but i won't classify it as the top like top notch interior for hypercars and it doesn't like it doesn't like fit in that hypercar interior like category it passes as a good interior you can really tell that the exterior is where they pay the most attention to and everything about the exterior is just good on the other hand, we have the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport, which is just built differently. I was thinking that the Stata Chiron looked way better than most of the cars out there, but the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport is on another level in terms of design. Like the exterior quality is just top, like the design is just top notch. You get a more aggressive front end, the iconic sea line on the side, a long tail, which is a good formula to make any car look good. You get a different exhaust tip setup than the Chiron, like a different exhaust tip setup from the Chiron and the Postport. And on the interior, you still get the same simple plain and high quality interior no fancy infotainment system nothing too fancy nothing too crazy but everything is just high quality and in terms of overall design the Chiron looks way better than the Remark Nevera and I know many people are going to agree with me on this one to be honest the Chiron like rocks in terms of design so for the overall win in design I'll give this one to the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport believe it or not these are luxury cars they worth millions and millions of dollars and whoever is buying them is adding them to their luxury car collection so which one offers more luxury the bugatti chiron super sport or the remark nevera stand with the remark nevera the remark nevera is very very beautiful on the exterior like everything about the exterior is luxury the butterfly doors the back end the front end everything about the exterior design is just pure luxury on the inside it tells a different story it's more performance focused like track focused they focus more on performance than in luxury on the other hand we have the bugatti chiron super sport which offers both luxury and performance in a very very good way i haven't seen any hypercar that offers both performance and luxury better than the Chiron lineup they offer it in a very very good way and we can tell which one is 
more luxurious than the other obviously is the bugatti chiron super sport and that is very evident because bugatti chiron super sport is just proof of too much money like it screams luxury the exterior design the interior design high quality stuff everything about the chiron is just top notch it's a proof of too much money and there's nothing less to that so for luxury i'll give this one to the bugatti chiron super sport Coming over to the fun part, fun. Which one is more fun, the Remark Nevera or the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport? Well, to declare the winner in this category, we are going to be considering factors like sound, speed, how easy it is to drive, and how responsive is the car. We'll Starting with sound, believe it or not, sound has so much to do with how fun a car is to drive like a good sounding car like i always say keeps you boiling in happiness throughout the whole drive and in this case the bugatti chiron takes the win because take a listen and take a listen to the remark it makes no sound so the wind goes clearly to the chiron super sport and for speed it depends on what you consider speed to be if it's going like, like crazy fast on the highway or quick acceleration like both cars are very fast acceleration i'll give it to the remark nevera top speed the bugatti chiron super sport but few people like attempt top speed so for speed i'll give this one to the remark and how easy is it to drive I've never driven any of these cars, neither have I seen them in real life, but like I can't really comment on that. I'll call this round a draw because it would take me driving them to really consider like or to declare which one is the easiest to drive because both cars can be really chill and they can be really aggressive. So I'll call easy to drive a draw. So how responsive it is both cars are very responsive but in the bugatti chiron you have like lag whereas in the remark nevera you don't have any lag like that everything is very very responsive the electric torque is very instant and for the overall win like i'll give this one to the remark and for the best like the win in fun like the best and fun which one is more fun i'll give this win i'll give the win like i'll give the win to the oh shit to the remark nevera and now, coming over to speed, both of these cars were created for speed. The Bugatti Chiron Super Sport was made to break top speed record and the Remark Nevera was built to break all speed records. Which one achieved that speed record? Martin Remax said he wanted to build the top of the top car. He wanted to make electric cars the top of the top. Like he wanted to build the ultimate car and that is why he built the remark nevera that's why the whole remark group built the nevera so which one achieved that speed record well the remark nevera achieved many acceleration record it broke a lot of record but it didn't achieve the top speed record like the all-time top speed record it is the fastest electric vehicle in the market as of right now the fastest electric vehicle but is still behind the bugatti chiron super sport like the real deal, like the real Bugatti Chiron Super Sport 300 plus did over 300 miles per hour, reaching speed of up to 304 miles per hour. And I'm telling you, that car still has a lot left in it. That car was still picking up speed before the driver let go. Like that speed was still coming in before the driver did decide to let go. And for speed record, both cars achieved like a very wonderful like speed records. The remark broke like many acceleration records. But as for speed, like for that real raw speed, the Bugatti Chiron takes the win as the faster car, and that's why it's going to take the win in this category. Let me remind you, I didn't add this category just to give like a point up to the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport. Like this is what these cars are designed for, speed. Although the Remark Nevera won in different acceleration performance, but for that raw speed, raw going fast, like down the line, the Bugatti Chiron takes the win. This is what both of these cars are designed for. 
This remake was created to be the top of the top and the Chiron was built to be the fastest car and that fastest car it is still today. So for the winning speed, I'll give this one to the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport. And now, lastly is the price. The Remax Nevera has a starting price of $2.2 million and the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport has a starting price of $3.9 million. Well, I'm not going to be giving the point to the most expensive or to the less expensive. Rather, I am going to be judging this round based on value for money. What value are you getting for the price point or what value are you getting for the price you're paying for it? Well, let's dive in. For $1.7 million less, you get the Remax Nevera, which is not only cheaper than the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport, but you get performance that exceeds the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport, like acceleration wise, it exceeds the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport, and if it exceeds the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport, it exceeds every other car in the market and on the road, like right now, in terms of acceleration. The Remax is just the top of the top in terms of acceleration. And it almost seems like you are paying way less for way more like compared to the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport. But wait, there is a twist. The Bugatti Chiron Super Sport offers both luxury and performance better than the Remax Nevera. The Remax Nevera is one-sided. It offers performance at most and less in luxury. Like, not that you don't get any luxury feature from the Remax Nevera is just that it's not up to the level of the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport. The Chiron Super Sport offers both luxury and performance in a very beautiful way. Like I said earlier, I've never seen any hypercar that offers both luxury and performance the way Bugatti does. Bugatti are just performance and luxury mixed together. But look, the Chiron is by no means cheap, it's very very expensive, but we can see you are getting good value for the money you are paying for it. And also, Remax made 150 units of the Remax Nevera and Bugatti made only 30 units of the Chiron Super Sport, which makes the Chiron a lot rarer than the Remax Nevera, which means that this car is going to appreciate in value, like these cars are really hard to get, which means they're going to go up in value, which means if you hold the Chiron Super Sport for like 10 years, you are going to sell it, get your money back and still have a lot more to your pocket, just like what the Lamborghini Veneno did. I've forgotten the starting price but now that car is for like 14 million dollars and that's likely going to be the case for the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport because it's really rare. 10 years from now, 20 years from now, the price is going to go up. So it's not only a good value for Monica but also a really really good investment. So for the best in price, for the better value for Monica. I'll call this round a draw because both cars offer good value for their price and for that reason I'll call this round a draw. And now finally we are going to be summing up the individual points of these cars to determine which one is the winner. Starting with the Remax Nevera, it tied in powertrain and in price with the Chiron and one in performance and in fun giving it a total of 30 points. While the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport tied in powertrain and in price with the Nevera winning in design, luxury and speed giving it a total of 40 points. And that gives us the winner. The Bugatti Chiron Super Sport is the winner and it's the better hypercar. Listen. This doesn't mean that the Remax Nevera is a bad hypercar or is worse. No, the Remax Nevera is a good value for money hypercar. It's really good. It has performance that greatly surpasses the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport. But overall, which one is the better car? Which one is the better hypercar that offers everything with value with teeth? I think overall is the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport. But it all depends on personal preference. If what the Nevera won in is what interests you, go for the Nevera. And if what the Chiron Super Sport won in is what interests you, then go for the Chiron Super Sport. But for this matchup, the Chiron Super Sport is just the better hypercar. And with that said, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If there's anything you think I missed out in this video, let me know in the comment section. And if you don't like my result, let me know 
don't dislike the video just let me know in the comment section down below and if there is any matchup you want to see in the channel or any guy you want to see on the channel let me know in the comment section down below and with all that said thank you for watching thank you for tuning in and i will see you in the next one peace out and stay safe